we even celebrate the majesty of the butterfly. Yes, indeed. Molly Riel is live in Oak Grove this morning, giving us a little preview of Butterfly Fest going on at the Secret Garden Nursery. Yeah, it just sounds lovely. Well, look at that. Look at that. It decided to stand still for us. We said, hey, you're going to be on live television. Can you perform? Oh, there they go. Okay, so this is the Gulf Fritillary Butterfly. Uh, and right now, this is their home. We're at the Secret Garden Nursery uh, in Elk Grove, just off 99. Now, this is an annual event and one that I have to tell you, I get so excited for. Jasmine, I was just saying, like, you should see your text messages to each other because you text me, you're like, it's time. I'm like, it's time. We get so excited. Uh, uh, and it's because it really showcases how neat nature can be. 100%. So at the Butterfly Festival, it's this weekend and next, you have a lot of fun activities, face painting, coffee, mm -hmm. you name it. Uh, but it's what happens here, right here in the passion fruit vine. It is teeming with life. You get to experience the entire life cycle of this butterfly. So let's get into it. Let's do it. Um, I think everybody knows about milkweed and monarchs, and mm -hmm. the concept is almost the same. Every butterfly has a host plant, and this is the host plant for the orange butterfly, the Gulf fritillary that you see flying around. Um, so we grow so much of it here that we get our own population of Gulf fritillary butterflies every year. Um, and so you can experience every part of the life cycle. I picked out right here, it starts with, see that tiny, tiny yellow dot? That is the egg, right, Jasmine? And the butterflies only lay the eggs on the passion fruit vine? Correct. Yeah, the caterpillars only eat passion vine, okay. um, mostly the leaves and stuff like that. Um, so the butterflies, when you see them kind of fluttering around like this, they're going to lay eggs on the vine. Um, the eggs hatch within a week, and then caterpillars move through five stages, starting out really, really small, yeah. like a grain of rice, even smaller. And then eventually they'll get up to about two inches before they go into chrysalis which is like cocoon, um, where they become a butterfly. And then they hatch and they start the whole cycle again. And we get multiple generations that are born here throughout the summer. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you have a great example of sizes if you yeah. want to look at this plate. So here's an itty bitty baby. And then you got these big boys. And you have these here to kind of show us an easy way to see. But the second you really start looking at th this vine, I mean, here's a guy right here munching away. With an egg. Too. With an egg. egg, too. I love that. Uh, there's some chrysalises we found. Actually, they decided, look, she has <laughs> this sign that she made. Look for the chrysalises. And the butterflies themselves, the caterpillars, rather, decided to make a couple chrysalises right on there as well. Uh, another cool thing, over here, we found a chrysalis. And if you can see, it's a little bit darker, and that's because its background is a little bit darker, too. So the more you kind of look, I mean, you can really teach yourself things. You learn so much about butterflies, about nature, and for kids, this must be so much fun. I mean, it makes me feel like a kid. So we do a tour. I'll take everybody on a life cycle tour at 11 a.m. each day of the festival. Um, and that's really, really fun. And once you're done with the tour, we give out a scavenger hunt for kids and they can find all the things that we talked about. Oh, they like your shirt. They're like all around you. Oh, um, that's why I wore it. Yeah, right? <laughs> to match. Um, but if you miss the tour or if you want to come, let's say you're not into crowds because we do get a pretty big crowd for this. Um, if you want to come the week in between the two festival weekends, you can still do a really awesome self-guided. Oh, hey. Um, a really awesome self-guided tour and we'll still hand out the scavenger hunt and you can really, the, what I want is for people to walk right up here and see the entire thing. Yeah. Um, I think that's what's really cool. Yeah, it's amazing and I do want to point out too, it's not even 10 o'clock. Uh, it's still a little cool. The butterflies are just waking up so between 10 and 2, they are out in full force. Mm -hmm. Like they are, it's, mm -hmm. it's going to be filled with butterflies. Uh, of course, this is all kind of a bringing people in so that they are inspired to plant their own yeah. vine. We sell the vine. Mm -hmm. um, there's three different types of passion vine that we have in stock that will basically allow you to have your own butterfly garden at home. Um, the other focus of this event is talking about how to protect pollinators and how to plant for them so that you have because the adult butterflies don't eat the vine. The adult butterflies need flowers and nectar. Um, so we talk about that, um, planting California natives and perennials and pollinator friendly plants so that we can, it makes a huge difference. If we all kind of at least planted one or two things, um, we would have a lot more biodiversity. It would just be a lot better all around. Gosh, I just love it. All right, if you want to come celebrate our fluttery friends, the Gulf Fritillary Butterfly, it's happening this weekend and next Saturday, Sunday, 10 to 2. Flutter on over here to the Secret Garden. We say, okay, there's one to say goodbye. Goodbye, Aww. friend. Aww. Hi, buddy. I love it. Aww.
Julie mm. Papillon. Right on cue, guys. <laughs> Were you? Oh, a bite, yeah. a exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jolie <there>. Papillon. <laughs> Just like that. Yep. Thank you, Molly. Julie Paps. <laughs>